Hello, my name is Brian Burrows and I'm a fourth year student in the Applied Computing course at WIT in Waterford. Today I would like to discuss my fourth year project, which is a tablet monitoring system. I chose to do a system like this because I myself am on tablets and I have on many occasions forgotten to take them. And I have used apps before, but um, I still usually just, you know, when an alarm went off I'd hit the snooze button or something and I'd forget about it then and forget to take my tablets. So I thought it best to use a combination of physical sensors and a combination of software because that means like um, that some physical action has to be taken on the tablet box that I have sensors attached to um, and that will detect like movement and lid being opened. So the main focus of the project is a Raspberry Pi which is connected to an ultrasonic distance sensor and a magnetic sensor. The conditions for tablets being taken is the distance sensor detecting a distance of 50 centimeters or greater and the seal on the magnet being broken. In the event this happens a message is published to PubNub saying um, basically tablets taken it's published to a channel up there and um, a mean stack application is subscribing to this channel and if the tablets were taken it updates the amounts in the database and the little pictures over on the left here you can see the ultrasonic distance sensor attached to a breadboard on top of the raspberry pi and a magnetic sensor attached to the lid on the right hand side and um, some of the technologies being used in the project are the main kind of uh, intermediate be intermediary technology is PubNub, which acts as a broker between the hardware side of things and the end user interface. Angular JS is the fr front end framework for cutting. It has lots of uh, useful ng ng directives for cutting down on the amount of um, HTML code needed. Uh, Python is uh, controlling all the p scripts on the Raspberry Pi for the sensors. Heroku is where the app is deployed. Git and GitHub were used for version control, so as I could. Uh, push any changes to code up to my repository on GitHub. MongoDB is a database as part of the mean stack and um, I've originally I was using MongoDB locally to test any um, data changes that were made but um, due to working on my laptop and my desktop data was always different because I had different databases so I chose to use MLab and push the Mongo database online which meant I could have consistent data no matter where I was working from. Uh, Node.js acts as a server and Express.js is for routing purposes. So moving on to the actual project then. <coughs> and this is the landing page when a user arrives. Um, and you can see I have some tablets in the database already. Anadin, Calpin, Imuran, Panadol. I might zoom in on that a little so you can see them better. So I'm going to add a new tablet to the database there. And originally my home page I wanted to, I didn't I wanted to have users be able to register and log in but I due to time constraints I didn't get that part of the project working so I just focused on the tablet aspect of it so because originally I wanted to have like welcome say Brian here and then be have the ability to add tablets to the database but I didn't get to use the part working so I'll just add a tablet here anyway I'll call it Fossimex uh, for the dose I'll say 70 milligrams I'm going to take one, total amount 60, and description, um, help recover bone density. I'll add that tablet to the database. Now you can see it in there, Fossimex, there it is there. I can arrange these by um, name or by the age in the database, and Calvin being the oldest in the database, and there's Fossimex, which is the newest one I just added. You can also do a search there, so Fosamax, and I'll bring up Fosamax, PL, I'll bring up Panadol. And I can delete a um, uh, tablet there if I want, so I'll just delete Fosamax there again that I just created actually, and there it is gone. And I can also update tablets as well. So in here you can see Anadin, the dose, and description, pain relief, and you can update anything you want in here, and it'll display it and the updates in the database. So moving on to I've already created a container called Brian's Tablets, so if you want to create a container you just type in the name here. So I created a container called Brian's Tablets and I'm going to go into the, the container here now. You can see the tablets in the database on the right hand side and on the left I have no tablets in my container at the moment. And uh, the status field here is blank but when uh, a tablet's taken message is published to PubNote that pair that will uh, say tablet's taken. So I'm going to add some tablets to my, to my container Sorry, here, here at the moment. I'll just add all of them there actually. Um, let's zoom out a little bit so the ones appear in the as well. And as you can see here on two tablets, I have a warn and tablet supply getting low. That's because I have it set so if the total amount is 10 or less, I'll get a warning. 
and in the amount it reaches zero and um, the tablet will disappear from the container so I'm going to kick off things on the right hand screen here on the RAS which is I'm, as I say I'm logged into the Raspberry Pi the current time is 14.35 so I'm going to move this to 14.36 to kick off an alert so then, okay. these are all our um, emails I had so I'm just going to delete those and you can see here now it's printing out the current uh, distance and it's printing out the the time so that is that when it reaches 1436 I'll receive an email I'm just going to clear PubNub as well and clear messages there we go. <coughs> and so just well, let's keep printing out there when this reaches 14 there it is 1436 it'll send an email there saying tablet's taken or tablet's not taken sorry because I haven't moved the box yet so there's my email in your medicine box has not been moved you forgot to take your tablet and a message was also published to PubNub here at morning tablets have not been taken and then on the status there you can see tablets not taken so I'm going to open the tablet box there now so I am to trigger another alert said which is the conditions when tablets being taken So as you can see on the right hand screen there, I got an another email sent saying tablets taken. And I'll just put the lid back on the box. And you can see here on the status, tablets was, the status was up there and said tablets taken and I would have got a new email. There is there, saying your medicine box has been moved and the lid, been, the lid has been removed. Did you take your tablets to serve as a reminder not to take them again? And I got a new message on PubNub there saying tablets taken so that means that pull that down and it updated the totals so you can see tablets taken there now and now my totals have been updated so um, anodin was originally 10 and the amount to take was 2 so it subtracted down to 8 and calvin was originally 30 the amount to take was 2 so that came down to um, 28 and you can see panadol disappeared altogether from the list because the total amount was 5 and the amount to take was 5 so that would have dropped everything down to 0 so it's gone and um, that's my uh, project in a nutshell I hope you enjoyed listening to it I know I enjoyed working on it and thank you very much for listening